Game Ranks presents 10 Xbox One hacks and tricks you probably didn't know. We've already covered the PS4, so once again, we've devised a list for you to get the most out of your Xbox One. So let's get started with number 10. A lot of people use the YouTube app on Xbox One because, hey, you're watching YouTube videos. You're watching one right now. It'd be pretty cool if you're watching it on your Xbox, but let's make that a little bit easier. A lot of people also rely on the Kinect commands, but they don't seem as well implemented for YouTube. Well, here's the trick. The Xbox command doesn't actually activate the voice control in the YouTube app. Instead, you have to say YouTube and then the command. You can select play, stop, start, fast forward, just like you normally would, except this time you have to say YouTube first. Also, if you're feeling a little bit naughty and you want to skip an ad on the YouTube app that isn't really skippable, press Y and then press B and then it'll skip the advertisement. Just don't do it on our videos. <laughs> please. At number 9, when you're on the home screen of the dashboard, press and hold the left and right trigger buttons, then hold the Y button, then release all three. Not even a half a second later, you should see the whole Xbox One dashboard refresh itself. Yes, this is essentially a dashboard refresh. While it's not like you're clearing out the cache or the system memory or anything, this is a good little trick if your dashboard ever gets hung up being slow or if it just gets stuck and frozen. Now all you have to do is this nifty little shortcut to refresh things. Wow, I really wish they had something like this implemented on Windows 8. At number 8, your screen is your most important ally when you're playing a game. It would totally behoove you to optimize it to the absolute best of your ability. In the settings menu, you can find an option to assist you with calibrating your display to be best suited for your Xbox. Now, it depends on the TV. Sometimes it doesn't change anything, but sometimes it really does. It. It'll make your picture a lot sharper. Of course, if you're really hardcore and a total audiovisual nerd, you can get those blue tinted glasses. These blue filter glasses can help you really finalize your calibration and make it the completely optimal settings. These glasses aren't needed, but it certainly helps and is a little better than just using the naked eye. Also, while we're Talking about TV and screen quality, definitely use game mode to your advantage. Check out and see if your newer HD TV has a game mode setting. This setting optimizes the refresh rate for video games, so this way you know you're getting the most one-to-one -one responsive action between the Xbox, the TV, and your controller. At number 7, do you have a cool web app you like to use on your Xbox One? Maybe you're on a website flipping back and forth using a guide? or you just frequent a website on your Xbox? Well, you can actually pin websites to your home screen by pressing the menu button when the tile is selected in Internet Explorer's address bar. A lot of websites and services don't have native apps yet, but they might work really well in Internet Explorer because they're built with HTML5, which works perfectly in the Xbox One's browser. So if your Xbox One is your prime media center, or if you use it a lot just for a certain task, it'll definitely help it out if you have it pinned right on the dashboard, ready to go and load up. And speaking of using the internet browser and switching between apps, when you snap an app, double tap the Xbox button to switch from app screen to app screen, without saying Xbox Home. If you have Kinect hooked up and you're all cool with your voice commands, you can also say Xbox Switch, and it'll switch easily from screen to screen. It's all about getting the most out of these features. Instead of just snapping, you can also use the second screen trick. If you're using the Xbox Smart Glass app on the same Wi-Fi network you're playing on, for example, you'll definitely be able to get more out of your phone or tablet. For example, using the Battlefield map running on your tablet and not taking up your game screen. There's a lot of screen real estate and multitasking on the Xbox One, and if you take advantage of it, you'll be really badass. And at number 5, we have our famous pizza trick. You might have heard this one before in our Gaming Life Hacks video from way back when. This one's a really big deal for me. Okay, listen, Xbox Live Gold members with an Xbox One get 100 free minutes of phone and voice calls on Skype because Microsoft owns Skype. Now, with the Xbox Connect voice controls, make a contact on Skype called Pizza, put in your favorite pizza place's phone number, and while you're sitting there on your Xbox doing your thing, playing State of Decay, maybe some Halo, whatever, just say, Xbox, call pizza. Boom. There you go. You can order pizza from your Xbox and have it show up right to your door, you lazy ass. You're welcome. At number four, take advantage of the Xbox One preview program. Microsoft's Xbox preview program lets Xbox One owners get the latest updates about a month ahead of schedule oftentimes. You'll be able to get to use the newest features and dashboard tweaks before anyone else. And all you really have to do is provide feedback back to Microsoft. It's basically like signing up for a beta program. How do you get into the preview program, you ask? Well, when it first started, it was really just people who were lucky enough to sign on a website and get the invite. But now you just have to know someone. If someone else on your friends list is in it, they can send you an invite and then you're in the program. This process of getting the message and then registering usually takes a couple days, so be prepared. But if you want to get into this Xbox preview program, you should definitely make some friends. At number three, you should take advantage of the Xbox Live Game Hubs. If there's a game that you're absolutely just obsessed with and playing constantly and always checking for the newest updates and DLCs and add-ons and whatever, and whoever else is on your friends list is always playing it, if this is just your game, check out the Game Hub for that particular game. Now, Game Hubs are accessed by pressing the menu button when the game is highlighted. On this Game Hub, you can see who's playing the game on your friends list, leaderboards, different video clips, streams and clips for these games, and the area to purchase downloadable content. If you think the content is worthy and not just a shitty cash grab, of course. So Pressing the menu button when a game is highlighted and bringing up the game hub is the best way to get at-a-glance info of that game you're really into. 
At number two, Xbox One has HDMI pass-through, which you can use to do some cool little tricks. Of course, you probably know that the Xbox One's HDMI pass-through port is intended for use with like a cable or a satellite box, so that the Xbox One can double as your cable box and be a complete all-in-one entertainment system. Get it, Xbox One? Eh, but whatever about that. You can also connect just about anything to it, including like a PS4 or an old Xbox 360 or a Google Chromecast or a Fire TV. So that means you could do even more cool shit on your Xbox One. Because most anything you have with HDMI, you can have running through the TV app on the Xbox One. So you can just be a crazy Xbox One power user if you want. And at number one, a cool little trick and one of my personal favorite is pinning Netflix shows. Now you can do this with other video apps, but Netflix seems to be the best to just take you right into it. So if you have a connect, you could do it really easily. From the dashboard, you could say Xbox select and then say pins and then say, for example, orange is the new black. Boom, it brings it right up. Instead of just traditionally loading up the Netflix app, going through, searching, finding what you've previously been watching, click on it and play, having the specific show pinned to your dashboard will bring it up way easier and expedite your binge watching process. You can pin these shows by selecting them in the Netflix or other video app and then hitting the menu button and looking for the pin to home option right there. And that's it, your Netflix life just got a little easier. You're welcome. So guys, those were 10 Xbox One hacks and tricks you probably didn't know. Like we said, this list was designed to just make your Xbox life a bit more convenient with some cool little tricks. We're really hoping at the time of this video, none of these tricks get changed via software updates or anything. And if that's the case, we're sorry. But we do want to know in the comments what you guys think about these Xbox tricks and what little things you use to make your Xbox life easier. Definitely share it with us in the comments below because we want to know and everybody in the comments want to know as well. And if you did have a good time and maybe learned a thing or two, click the like button because that's the best way you can help us out. And if you're new, subscribing is the absolute best thing you can do because we put out videos every single day. But thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.